just imagine. With just a few clicks, you can turn your favorite character into a real action figure. With outfits you choose, accessories you like, all inside a sleek package, just like those rare and expensive collectible figures. But this isn't just an image. You can actually bring that figure to life, make it walk, move, even appear in a video. And the best part? I've got everything ready for you, from templates to a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create amazing action figure images and videos with AI, all for free. Stick with me till the end. As you can see, I've prepared a template for you that consists of two parts and organizes everything for you. I've shared the text of this template in the description of this tutorial on my YouTube channel, Iman Global. In this template, in the first part, all you need to do is fill in the character details, like the character's name, the title on the packaging, the type of outfit and style, your favorite accessories, graphic elements, and the suggested age, just the way you want. In my first example, I'm going to create an action figure of the legendary Steve Jobs. So, I've entered the character name and my desired accessories into the first part of the template. After that, we move on to ChatGPT AI. Using the information we provided, it generates a prompt for creating an image of the action figure and gives it back to us. Let me show you how. I paste the template into ChatGPT's input box and action. That's it. With this, a prompt is created based on our input to design an awesome collectible action figure. The prompt is now ready. Now all we have to do is copy this prompt and take it to an image generating AI to create the action figure. In this tutorial, we'll use three different AIs with this prompt to create action figures. The first one is ChatGPT itself. ChatGPT can also generate images for us. You ask how? Well, I paste the same prompt right into ChatGPT and action. It's done! My prompt goes into the queue, and after a very short wait, the image is generated. Look how beautifully it has created the packaging of my desired action figure. In this case, the legendary Steve Jobs, based exactly on my information. Isn't it amazing? My custom slogan, the accessories I picked, all of them are included in the action figures package. It's fantastic. And here's an important tip. In the top right corner of the image, there's a button for downloading and saving the image to your device for free. In the second method, I'm going to show you how to create an action figure package using a completely free image generating AI called Paclumen. Come with me. In this example, I'm going to create an action figure of the late Charlie Chaplin. I fill out the first part of the template based on my own preferences and paste it into ChatGPT's input box and action. That's it. A new prompt is created. Now the second prompt is ready. I copy this prompt and head over to the Paclumen AI website. To get started and create an account, we click the Launch App button in the top right corner of the website. On the sign in page, you can log in or create an account either using a personal email or even with your Apple or Google account. I click on the Google option, select one of the open Gmail accounts, and just like that, my account is created. After logging in, you are taken to the community page. This page is basically a gallery of images created by other users using the Paclumen Art Generator. By clicking on any of the images, a new page opens where you can view them in a larger size and browse through them. You can even see the exact prompt that generated each image. In the bottom left corner, you can access your user profile and the log out button. To turn the prompt into an action figure image in the Paclumen Art Generator, I click on the Create option in the left hand menu. On this page, you can also see the history of images you've previously created. At the top of the Create page, there's a text box where you can paste the prompt. I right-click and paste the prompt we created with ChatGPT into the text box. On the right side of the prompt box, there's a drop-down list where several models are available for image generation. In the first example, I choose Paclumen Art V1. Next to that, there's another drop-down list for setting the aspect ratio. In this example, I set the aspect ratio to 3 to 4. In the next section, you can choose how many images you want to generate, either one or two. After setting everything up, I click on the Generate button. My request goes into the queue, and after a short wait, the images of my desired action figure are ready. To view the action figure images, in this case, Charlie Chaplin, in larger size, I click on one of the images. On the right side, by clicking on the image thumbnails, I can access all the generated images and review them more closely. Just like that, and totally free, we created an awesome collectible action figure of our desired character. Every line, every accessory, and the packaging colors are all based on our personal taste. That's incredible! By clicking the Download button, 
You can save the images of this action figure to your device for free. In the third method, I'm going to show you how to create an action figure package using a professional image generating AI called Leonardo. Come along with me. In this example, I want to create a Spider-Man action figure. First, I customize the template based on my own preferences and paste it into the ChatGPT AI input box. An action. That's it. A brand new prompt is now created. At this point, the third prompt is also ready. I copy this prompt and go to the Leonardo AI website. To get started and create an account, we click on the Launch App button located at the top right corner of the website. We'll skip the account creation steps. You all already know how to do that. Leonardo AI is not only professional but also gives you a decent amount of free tokens when you create an account, which is more than enough for generating action figures. From the left-hand menu, I click on the Image option. This opens Leonardo's new image generation panel. At the top, there's a prompt box where I paste in my prompt. From the drop-down list labeled, Preset, I select Flux Dev, which is one of Leonardo's latest art generation models. I set the Prompt Enhance option to off so the prompt stays exactly as it is. This style option should be set to Dynamic, which works well here. In the Image Dimensions section, I choose the 4 to 5 aspect ratio. Then, I set the image size to medium. In the Number of Images section, you can control how many images are generated each time you hit Generate. Depending on how many tokens you have, you'll need to manage this setting. I've set it to 4. After completing these settings, I click on the Generate button. After a short wait, the images are generated and shown as thumbnails. I click on one of them to view it in a larger size. If you're not happy with the results, just repeat the process several times until you get an outcome that satisfies you. The free download button without watermark is located beneath each image. Up to this point, we've learned how to create an action figure of our favorite character. Now, we want to animate it and bring the action figure package to life. We've come to a great part. We now go to the website of the video generating AI tool Hilulu. The reason I chose this AI is that it gives us a few free tokens upon account creation. Currently, the homepage of this AI is presented in Chinese, but there's no need to worry. We can translate it into our preferred language. I use the Edge browser, and to do this, I click the translate icon at the top of the site. This option is also available in other browsers. In the translate to dropdown list, I select English in this example. Then I click on translate. As you can see, the website interface changes to the language I selected, in this case, English. By clicking on the sign in option in the top right corner of the site, a window opens for registration and login. You can log in with either an Apple or a Google account. I click on continue with Google and select one of the open Gmail accounts. Just like that, a user account is created for me and I'm logged into the dashboard of this AI. From the left hand menu, I click on the create a video button. This takes us into the video generation section. On the new page, on the right side, you can see the works I've previously created using this video generating AI, nicely arranged. On the left side, you'll find the tools for video creation. Since we want to turn the action figure image into a video or animation, make sure the image to video option is active. Inside the image to video box, there's an option for uploading images, which supports JPG and PNG formats. I click on it. Then, I select the image I want to animate and turn into a video from my hard drive, and upload it. After a short while, depending on the file size, the image uploads and its thumbnail appears. Once the image is uploaded, I need to write all my expectations for the animation as text in the prompt box so that the AI fully understands which elements of the image it should animate. This might change in the future, but for now, that's how the process works. I insert a prompt describing the elements I want to be animated in the text box. To animate the image and turn it into a video, I click on the Generate button. My request is added to the processing queue. After a short wait, my image is animated and turned into a video, and its thumbnail appears. I click on the thumbnail to watch and review the video in a larger size. I wasn't too satisfied with the first test result from Hilo AI, but I'm not disappointed either. Here, I'll show you the other results I got in later tests. As I've said many times, this process needs to be repeated and by adjusting the text in the prompt and running multiple tests, we can definitely reach an ideal result. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, we learned how to create our dream action figure using AI, and then we brought its package to life. So, if you found this tutorial helpful, now's the time to smash that like button, not just with a tap, but with love.
And if you think this video could be useful for your friends too, don't hesitate to share it with them. You'll be doing them a big favor. If you're passionate about the amazing world of AI, you've come to the right place. Now's the perfect moment to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss the next tutorial. Because we're going to take things to the next level. AI is the future, so let's embrace it together, right now, with open arms.